Hey, this is Dr. Ketu, a board certified gastroenterologist practicing in USA. After I shared a quick video short about the harms of microwaving plastic containers, many of you reached out asking for a deep dive into the topic. The concern goes beyond just heating food. Plastic breaks down over time, releasing microscopic particles into what we eat and drink. Microplastics are everywhere and they could be impacting your health in ways you never imagined. Today we are taking a closer look at how these tiny particles might be affecting your body. Something as ordinary as your daily water bottle could be a hidden threat. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how microplastics are sneaking into your life and how to protect yourself. Before we get started, if you are passionate about staying ahead of the curve with actionable health tips, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now let's dive in. Where exactly do these plastic particles come from and how much are we really exposed to? These tiny fragments, less than 5 millimeters in size, are everywhere, from the food we eat to the air we breathe. They originate from broken down plastic bottles, synthetic clothing, and even personal care products. A 2021 study in environmental science and technology estimated that adults ingest about 883 particles of microplastics per day. Can you even imagine? But why should you care? Here are the health risks of microplastics. Number one, microplastics can disrupt your gut microbiome. Research indicates that they may alter the composition and function of gut bacteria, leading to digestive issues and inflammation. Microplastics could cause intestinal damage and barrier dysfunction in mice. This disruption can lead to symptoms like bloating, abdominal pain, change in bowel habits, etc. Number two, many plastics contain endocrine disrupting chemicals that can interfere with your hormonal system. Studies link these chemicals to various hormonal disorders including thyroid problems and reproductive issues. Microplastics can mimic hormones like estrogen potentially leading to weight gain and metabolic disturbances. Number three, microplastics can trigger inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. Chronic inflammation can lead to various metabolic disorders including obesity. When microplastics enter your system, they can lead to tissue damage and inflammation, disrupting your body's ability to regulate appetite and metabolism. Number four, they can clog up your arteries that can lead to heart disease and strokes. In 2024, a study published in New England Journal of Medicine found that patients with carotid artery, which is right here, carotid artery plaque containing microplastics and nanoplastics had a higher risk of cardiovascular events, meaning heart disease. Specifically, these patients were four and a half times more likely to experience myocardial infarction, which is heart attack, stroke, or death from any cause compared to those without detectable micro or nanoplastics in their uh, plaque of the carotid arteries. This suggests that microplastics are not just clogging our oceans, they might be clogging our arteries too. Number five, research has shown that microplastics can cross the blood brain barrier, potentially leading to cognitive issues similar to dementia. A 2023 study published in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences found evidence suggesting that microplastics could negatively impact brain health in mice. So how do we get exposed to these microplastics? They get into our bodies either by mouth, by inhaling them through environment, or even through the skin. They are found in drinking water, bottled water, seafood, salt, sugar, tea bags, milk, etc. One study showed that Europeans are exposed to about 11,000 particles per year of microplastics due to shellfish consumption. It is estimated that people who ordered take out food four to seven times weekly may intake 12 to 200 pieces of microplastics through take out food containers. Research also shows that the surface of silicone rubber baby teats degrades when they are sterilized by uh, steam during which microplastics are released into the environment. Now, what can you do about it? Here are some practical steps you can take to reduce your exposure to microplastics. Number one, Swap out plastic water bottles for glass or stainless steel ones. This simple change can significantly reduce your exposure to microplastics. 
Number two, avoid heating food in plastic containers that can release millions of microplastic particles into your food. Instead, opt for glass or ceramic containers instead. Number three, choose fresh unpackaged foods. Whenever possible, go for fresh fruits and vegetables instead of packaged items. This not only reduces plastic exposure but also promotes a healthier diet overall because as you may know, any food that is packaged may have all kinds of preservatives which are not good for you and your health anyway. Number four, consider using a water filter certified to remove microplastics from drinking water. Filters that target particles smaller than one micron are ideal. Number five, dust and vacuum regularly. Microplastics accumulate in household dust. So regular cleaning can help reduce exposure through inhalation. Number six, be mindful of personal care products. Check labels on cosmetics and personal care items for microbeads or plastics listed as ingredients. Opt for natural alternatives whenever possible. Microplastics are a pervasive issue that poses serious health risks from gut health disruptions to potential cognitive decline. We can completely eliminate them from our lives, but taking small steps can significantly reduce our exposure and protect our health. Thanks for watching. If you found this information valuable, please like, share and subscribe for more. Also, share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.